Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today. Sorry, this is skeleton. I didn't mean that. Here, go back to. Oh no. I think it's good. Today we're gonna be trying to make some costumes from the video. Fun DIY costume ideas and funny ways to sneak candy into a Halloween party by Crafty Panda. What can I say? I just really love Crafty Panda recently. Great content. So yeah, let's uh let's check out some of these costumes. Okay, so this girl comes up and all of a sudden he just grabs her by the back of her hoodie. That's kind of sketch, right? Like I don't think they're allowed to actually touch you like that. And she's like, okay, here's my soda. Don't be so rude. And this girl comes up. He's like, okay, nothing suspicious here. But little do we know, she's hiding something. What's that straw? So first thing you're gonna want to do is cut a slit in your hoodie. Then you're gonna want to hot glue some Velcro on there. Then you get yourself a nice wine nozzle. I know that's a wine nozzle. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you how I know that's a wine nozzle, but that's totally a wine nozzle And then you get your bag with juice. Yeah, okay crafty panda. You're not fooling anyone <laughs> Just slip it right into your hoodie hole velcro it back up and boom bam You got yourself a free drink into the movie theater and it's super convenient Wow, I love it. I absolutely love it and I want to try this one actually I think I can try this one. Oh my gosh. I'm totally gonna try this one. Let's do it. Ooh, okay guys, so here is uh, our hoodie. This is uh, one of my favorite hoodies. Uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is where I live. So now we're gonna make ourselves a secret uh, hole that we can hide things in. That's cool. Grab our scissors. Make the incision right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then we get our Velcro. That looks about the right length. Boom. Stick that in there. Next one. Wow, it's like there's nothing there. Open up your Velcro. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, and for the water pouch, I'm actually just gonna use this weird water backpack thing that I got a while ago that I never used. Uh, don't eat that anymore. Wow, that's pretty neat. Let's see if it fits in here. Oh no. <laughs> I should probably fill this first, actually. Oops. Okay, all filled up. Let's see if we can put this thing in here. Get in there. You got this. It actually fits. Looks like a weird scuba diving apparatus. Okay, yeah, uh, let's try it on. Oh, okay, off with one tie-dye hoodie. And on with another. Okay, yeah, how's that look? Not too suspicious, is it? Oh, don't mind me. I just have my hoodie on. Okay, let's see if it actually fits over my head. Oh, that is, is it leaking? Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, so we're just chilling. I don't know, yeah, I can see that not being too noticeable. And then this one just has a little spout thingy right here. That sounds so weird in my ear. I got water! Oh guys, this one's pretty discreet. I would have to say that this one works. Back to the movie theater again, and he's like, hey, no food. And she's like, oh, oh man. What's she about to do? She just drinks all of her soda and just throws that bad boy in her empty cup. But her friends are like, whoa, what? See, I don't have anything. I just have a drink. Wasn't well, it no food or drink allowed, but they're allowed to go in with the drink? I don't understand. Back at it with these double standards. Anyway, so her friends see it and they're like, oh my God, we have to try this. It's like, what the heck? It turns out they're just putting their sandwich inside the, the cup of Coke. They're, they're laughing, we're laughing, you're laughing, then the toaster laughs. I shot the toaster, he's like, go on ahead. Oh, these girls are so dumb. They're gonna have a soggy sandwich. And indeed, they definitely had a soggy sandwich. I don't understand. This is so weird. Why did the guard just let him in with the sandwich? It just makes no sense. Okay, so he's like, come here. He's like, oh, snacks. No, no snacks. Put in confiscated bin. Wait, 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 wait. So that other guy got kicked out of the airport, but this girl just gets to put her stuff in the confiscated bin and like get just go through. I don't understand. I feel like there are some double standards here, but anyway. And now we're on to this girl. Oh, you remember this girl from a little while ago? Hey, my eyes are up here. He's like, oh, yes. <laughs> hubba hubba. How's it going? Uh, yeah, you can go right on through. This guy didn't suspect a thing. He's, he's being fooled. But little do we know, she's actually sneaking some stuff in. First you're gonna wanna get a plastic bag and get a little piece of parchment paper behind it. Cut a little slit, put a hose inside of the slit just like that. Uh, hot glue that hose right back on. Fill up your bag with coke. Put that bad boy inside your bra and uh, wow. She's like, what are you sucking on? It's just Coca-Cola. She's like, wow. Oh my, and then they're both just drinking their Coca-Cola. Cheers. Wow. Wow, I can't wait to see if this one works. Okay, so here's our bag. Here's our hose. Then we put a little bit of parchment paper inside this bad boy. Poke a hole. 
But I don't think this needs to be too long. Go ahead and put that in there. Hot glue. There we go. Wait for that to cool off. Okay, now that this is all cooled off, we'll go ahead and get our Coke and just carefully fill this. Oh, don't need that anymore. Oh, here we go. I really hope this doesn't leak everywhere. I should have probably put the straw in a little bit farther, but you know, it's okay. Wow, we have ourselves now a bag of Coke. Okay, I'm going to test it out. Wow, it's actually working. Oh man, I should have made two of these. It's okay, this one's working and I trust it, so. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bag up with uh, soda as well. Yeah, that looks like a, about even, right? Now time to try and put these in our bra. Luckily, Tori let me borrow her bra again. That was very nice of her. Oh, oh. Tori, how am I supposed to put this on? You're so small. Like this? I tried this last time and she said I did it wrong because I tried putting it on like a shirt. What am I supposed to do, step into it? Ah, that hurts so bad. Oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, okay. Put my sweater back on, put one bag inside the bra. Uh, okay, good enough. Now for the other one. I have to be careful with this one. How the heck, straw? Yeah, this is so strange. Oh, wow, yeah. I wouldn't notice this at all. And I can just drink from my right um uh, chest. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one works. It's a pretty efficient way to store Coca-Cola. Delicious. This is what it looks like <laughs> without my shirt on. That's so wacky. My goodness. Anyway. Okay, so for this next one, you're gonna want a laundry bag. Cut the whole top off, glue it to another one just like that, put it together. Then you're gonna wanna get some felt and make some eyes and a mouth just like that. Glue them onto your laundry bag. Go ahead and cut some armholes and glue some arms on this bad boy. Originally, I totally thought that this was a Kool-Aid man. When I saw this, I was like, oh yeah! But it turns out it's not actually the Kool-Aid man. It's actually a wacky, wavy, inflatable arm man! Woo! Classic. That ought to get you into the party. And the best part, when you're dancing, you're just dispensing all this candy out of your arms! Oh, whoa! So much candy! You're gonna be the life of the party. Everyone's gonna love you. Okay, guys? Let's try it. Woo! Okay, so unfortunately I couldn't find any red one of these guys, but I did find pink, so it's gonna have to do. So first I need to cut the bottom off of two of these. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Wanna glue these together? Careful, don't burn myself. Don't burn, oh God! Oh, oh, so much hot glue. Oh my goodness, okay. Line them up. It's okay, it's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself. Remember that meme? Yeah, that's pretty well stuck together actually, cool. Let's start on the head. So it also says to use felt for the eyes and mouth, but instead of using felt for the eyes, I think I'm just gonna use these giant googly eyes instead. I think that makes it a lot better. So I guess we just have to cut out our mouth. It's not bad. I kinda like how one eye is slightly higher too. <laughs> Go ahead and glue these suckers on. Boobity boo. Before I stick this on, I just want to say, I kind of like how he looks like a cyclops. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. This can be my new thing! It would be really hard to film videos in this though. Now I have to glue the head to the body. Okay, here we go. I hope I don't mess this up. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh it's so hot, it's so hot. Wacky wavy inflatable arm man! Now I have my very own! Wow, I'm pretty impressed with you, uh, wacky inflatable worm man! Oh my gosh, this is so cool actually. Woo! So instead of hot gluing sleeves onto this guy, I actually bought a pink hoodie that I could just wear while I'm inside of it. I think that's even better. Plus I get to have a pink hoodie after this. I still have to make the holes for the arms though. So that means I have to get inside of it to see where the arms are. Oh my God, this is so scary. I'm getting claustrophobic. Okay, here we go. I think one arm hole should go here. I'm not inside, so I can't really tell. Oh my God. I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing off. Oh, that was a bad idea. Wait, I think it's way too high. Oh no. Okay, so hopefully that side works. Now for this side. Woo. Now to put on the pink hoodie. Oh, I made sure to get an oversized one. That way I get like the wavy arm look. You know what I mean? Okay, let's hope I don't regret this part. I feel like I'm gonna get stuck.
Wow, that's actually too perfect. I just wish I cut eye holes. I can't see what the heck I'm doing. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I'm gonna be the wacky wavy inflatable arm man. You ready? I'm gonna go full wacky. <laughs> Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this costume works. I kind of love it actually. I just wish I could see. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving this costume. I'm gonna rate it 9 out of 10. Good job guys. So for this one, you're gonna want some sugar. It's actually water gel. Just replace the water gel. Now you're gonna go ahead and replace the sugar with the water gel. Then when your friend goes to drink his morning coffee and he adds all that sugar, it's gonna turn into a slime. So when he goes to drink it, nothing will come out. What the heck? Whoa. Oh, this is, what is this? So weird. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I could see this one totally working. Okay, guys, so uh, I couldn't exactly find water gel for sale anywhere local, uh, so I think the closest thing that I, I'm gonna find are diapers, actually. So the way that you do this is you take the diaper apart like this, take all the stuff out, and then you just gotta shake it until you make it. Then you have all these little crystals. And yeah, this is what water gel is, I'm pretty sure. This just like absorbs absorbs liquids really well. That's why they put it in diapers. They also put it in puppy pads. They put it in a lot of things. You just gotta shake it out of the cotton. Okay, now it's time to do that with all these diapers. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, that looks like it should be a good amount. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep the rest of it into this plate. There we go. Oh my, oh my goodness. That's a lot of water gel. Okay, let's go test this out on Tori. Okay guys, so for this one, I went ahead and put all the water gel inside of a little cup for her so it looks like sugar. And then I made her tea because Tori and me aren't really coffee people. Okay, let's go give Tori some tea. Oh, Tori Dabransky. Hello there. Hey Bench, how's it going? Hey, I made you some tea. It's your favorite tea in the whole world. Thank and you. I know you just love tea. Is it hot? Oh, it's very hot. Uh, here's some sugar. I know you really like sugar. I'll, I'll, I'll just pour it all in. I'll pour it all in for you. Because I know just you. you're just a really big... Can I mix it? Yes, make sure to mix it. I just know you're a really big fan of sugar, and that's the amount of sugar. No, Tori, what are you doing? That's just sugar. Tori, come on, mix it up. Just mix it up. You just got to mix what it. What did you put in my drink? Tori, I didn't do anything. It's just sugar. Oh. <laughs> Tori. <laughs> I don't, that's I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Tori, that's just what your happened? What's going on with this this tea? <laughs> I can't drink my tea anymore, but I can try to eat it. No, don't, Tori, don't eat it, please. No. Don't eat it. No, I wouldn't eat it. Because you've been pranked. <laughs> what did you put in my jar? No. That's water gel, aka diapers. It's the stuff inside of diapers you that put makes it. Diapers? No, it, it's inside like, of my tea. It's the stuff that goes inside of diapers. you give it to me? It's the stuff that goes inside of diapers. Oh, I guess that makes it what better? And not the poop part. How weird! I didn't know it worked like that. Yeah, that's so gross, but kind of cool. It's on the floor. Is it okay if it's on the floor? No, we don't. Or have do we that. need the boom box? This is so gross. Where? How did you get it? Did you just buy I just diapers? Took, I just took a bunch of diapers apart. Okay. <laughs> You've been pranked. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Wow, isn't that fun? That's it's pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty good. Science. Anyway, I'll see you later. Yeah. Okay, so you go up to the movie theater and you're so injured. Oh my god, that you poor thing. You broke your arm. You broke it here, here, and here. What? Poor, poor thing. Oh, let me kiss it. What a nice movie guard person. I don't know what your job is, FBI agent. Hey, but you guys, you have to put your stuff in here. Okay, we will. But you know what? He's been swindled. That's not a cash. It's a candy stash. Not to be confused with a candy mustache. Oh, I'm gonna try and make a candy mustache out of these sweet tart ropes. This was a bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, I haven't had candy in so long. This just reminds me I need to go to the dentist. Okay. Well, I guess we're trying this one. Okay, so fun fact, guys. I actually keep a first aid kit right next to my fire extinguisher. Ugh. You know, that way in case uh, it hits the fan. All we really need are these uh, bandages, though, so... Uh, <laughs> So here's our candy, here are our bandages. Haha. Uh, 
Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is get our candy, start wrapping our arm. Oh my gosh. This is a lot harder by yourself. I think if you do your own hand, you're supposed to start like this, and then you go down. That's for your wrist. For your arm, it's a little more tricky. I'm gonna take off my watch. Here we go. I'm just gonna start it off like that. Oh my gosh. Start it off. Now I'm gonna slowly start putting the candy in, just like that. Yeah! Wow. It looks like this is kind of working. Let me just kind of tuck it in there. Boom! Oh my god! I broke my arm! I'm so injured! Oh! Wow. And when you want your candy, all you gotta do is unwrap it. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one works. Proven method to sneak candy into the movie theater. You're welcome. Or rather, thanks, Crafty Panda. Okay, so you're in class and you're just listening to your teacher, and all of a sudden you're like, I'm bored, so I'm gonna play ball with my friend. He's like, hey, what are you doing? Don't play ball in class. And it hits the computer monitor. Oh, you broke the monitor. Oh my gosh. So sorry, teacher. I, I can never forgive you. Just kidding, it's a prank. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, this one is totally a classic, but I don't think I've ever tried it out on Tori. Let's see if she actually falls for it. Okay guys, so I'm in me and Tori's room and uh, there is our TV. And luckily, we have something called Chromecast and I can literally cast anything off of my phone onto that TV. So what I'm gonna do is look up broken screen. Let's see, what do we got, what do we got? Ooh, that looks pretty broken. Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and cast that. Oh my gosh, my TV is simply destroyed. Okay, so let's test this one out on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! I'm really sorry. Uh, I accidentally, me and Ben were playing with, uh, we were playing with this ball, and I, and the, the ball hit the TV right there, and now it's broken. Oh my, oh no. Tori, I just, I don't know. I'm sorry, I broke the TV, and I know we split this TV, and it's a really good TV, but Ben's just sorry. Benjamin, did you break the TV? It's okay. Tori, what are we gonna do? This TV was so expensive. We'll just have to get a new one. It's okay. You make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. Wow, you're such a understanding and loving girlfriend, and I really appreciate you. Oh. It's okay, Robbie. And also, you've been pranked! I just cast it to the screen the whole time. It's not even real. Look at that. Wow, it looks like it's okay. Good thing I didn't yell at you. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Tori. No problem. Did you fall for it? Sure. <laughs> I just thought it was broken the whole time. Well, guys, you heard Tori. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Yeah, it works great. <laughs> <laughs> Is your wrench way too big? Just add some coins to make it fit. Whoa! That's actually working perfectly. Simple, to the point, I like it. Let's do it. Okay, so first, I'm gonna need to make a hole in this wood so that I can screw this little bolt in. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna put it in the hole and hand tighten it. Oh no, I can't get it in any farther. I need a wrench. But the only wrench I have doesn't fit it. Oh man, what am I gonna do? We go ahead and grab our coin and just, uh, you know, just slide it right inside of it. Oh wow, this is actually working. Yep, it's screwing right in. It's screwing right in now. Oh man, th this is awesome. It's screwing right in. It's kind of hard to do this though, because then you have to hold the coin in place. And that's a little annoying. I'm doing it. Yes! It's working! Wow! Well, guys, if you're ever in a pinch and you just have too big of a wrench, I guess this would absolutely work. So I guess, I, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Is to do it just in plain sight. Look at this. She literally just glued the candy onto her glasses, made jewelry out of it. This will never. Oh. Oh, wait, it did work. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Wow! You know, I had my doubts, but Crafty Panda, you won me over. I'm pretty sure this will work. I definitely have to try it now. So normally, I would just stay true to the craft, but today, we're gonna mega craft it. Mega craft! Because we all know that giant sunglasses are not suspicious at all. So I'm gonna break out some Skittles. And they didn't really say how they attached the candy to the glasses, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a hot glue gun. One down, only like a hundred more to go. Wow, these actually turned out pretty cool. Let's try them on. 
Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Dude, I actually love these. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna wear these for the rest of the video. And we even made a pair for Toby. Wow, I look so cool now. Thanks, Ronnie. This isn't suspicious at all. It really isn't. Now let's try some of this candy. Mmm, it tastes like hot glue. But that's to be expected when you use hot glue to put it on. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, so this is how you make a giant pillow ornament. This actually looks really cool, really soft. I can't wait to actually own one of these things. So how do we do it? So the first thing you're gonna want is fabric. Then you cut it into a leaf shape and you make identical ones just like that. You sew them all together and then you should get a ball. Then you shove that ball filled with uh, cotton. That looks pretty good. Hot glue with the top together. Then you gotta make the ornament top. So what you gotta do is get some fabric, cut it just like this, sew and fill just like the last one. Then you get yourself some fancy rope, hot glue it on, and boom, you got yourself an ornament pillow. It's so comfy. Yeah, I think this one looks pretty good. I'm actually really excited to do this one. So um, I guess we're gonna try it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get some paper. Why am I getting paper, you ask? Well, I'm gonna explain that in a second. Calm down, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and tape some of these papers together. Boopity boop. Other side. Okay, it looks good. Then we're gonna go ahead and get this shape from the video. And we're just gonna trace it because they didn't give us uh, the exact dimensions of this. I'm letting Tori use the monitor that I usually use for tracing stuff and the one that I don't care about. Uh, so I don't have it right now, so I'm using this one. Oh no, it's just a little bit too short. Oh well, it's good enough. Or maybe I can turn it? <gasps> if I turn it, it just covers it. You guys are probably cringing right now because I'm doing this to my monitor. And I'm sorry. Okay. Awesome. Now we go ahead and cut it out. Clean and efficient. My favorite way of cutting things. Then we break out our fabric. I got nice and shiny fabric. Ooh. Just gonna lay it out nice and flat. Make our outline. Okay. Now I just gotta make six more. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So now that we have all these marked out, it's time to do some cutting. Here we go. Okay, one down, five more to go. Uh, let's do this. 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 Okay, we're all done cutting them out. Now let's break out our sewing machine. This is Tori's sewing machine. I'm just hoping that I don't mess it up. She showed me how to use it, and uh, I actually broke her last sewing machine, so I had to buy her this one. Anyway, let's do some sewing, shall we? Uh, the top. Okay, here's our shiny fabric. I got this because it's supposed to look like metal, and uh, I got way too much of it. I got way too, I got way too much of this. Anyway, we're gonna lay it out. We gotta make these shapes right here. So, uh, I, they, again, didn't give us dimensions on anything. Like, they literally could have given us dimensions on this, but uh, we're just gonna guess. So I'm thinking it's like, that's probably way too long. I don't have a shorter ruler. Well, I have a solution. Perfect. Boobity boop. This looks about the right length. Now we gotta make the circle. I think I'm just gonna use one of these rolls of tapes instead. This looks like it'll about work. Here we go. And a one, and a two. Perfect, now we're gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy out. Okay, yeah, these look uh, look pretty good. Take all the excess off. Now we gotta somehow sew all these together. <sighs> Sewing is so hard. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more complicated than what I'm used to. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now that I got this all sewing pinned up and uh, in the shape that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and break out our sewing machine again. Okay, let's hope I don't mess this up. done with all the sewing, it's time to try and flip these guys inside out without uh, breaking them. I should have probably made a bigger hole for me to flip this inside out, but uh, oh well. If I could even find it, I think it was right here. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Oh my, I messed up. I definitely messed up. What have I done? All you professional sewing people are probably just laughing at me right now. Oh my goodness, come on, get in there. <gasps> We did it! Well, almost, almost. Yes! I did it! Oh my gosh. Wow, that actually turned out a lot nicer than I thought it would have. Now for this one. I was actually responsible, and I made the hole big enough in this one. There we go. That's a lot better. Now to fill these bad boys with some polyfill. 
Wow, this is actually turning out kind of cool so far. I definitely think I need to keep filling it out though. It's definitely not the most round pillow in the world, but you know, it's fine. It's kind of lumpy. This thing takes a lot of stuffing. Wow! Now I have to stuff this little one. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Okay, so this uh, this turned out uh, similar to what we want. <laughs> I think I might have overstuffed it a little bit. I don't know. It, it's 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 close. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get our rope. Start right here. We're gonna work our way up. Not a Robbie video unless I burn myself with the hot glue gun. You know what? It's not as pretty as theirs, but it'll have to do. Am I right? <laughs> oh no. Well, I tried. Put this off to the side. Now I gotta sew this bad boy up. I can't really use a sewing machine, so it looks like I'm doing it by hand. Oh, there we go. It's all sealed up. Oh man. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This will be the top. Ooh, it looks pretty good. It's kind of like a giant blue pumpkin almost. Now apparently we just have to hot glue this onto this big boy. Here we go. Just let the hot glue cool down. Okay, and this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? We got ourselves a giant pillow ornament. I definitely think I could have made this part a little bit smaller. Uh, and it, it definitely looks like a giant blue pumpkin. Wow, it's the perfect pillow. But besides those two little flaws, I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. And now I have myself this cool pillow. Whoa! I'm pretty impressed with myself. This is like the first time I've ever really used a sewing machine without breaking it. <laughs> anyway, dude, nice. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna need a vacuum. Oh, thank you so much for cleaning up, intern. No problem. Let's go to the garage. Oh yes, also a mess. But we got just what we needed. Oh. 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 Go ahead and plug this in. Okay, and I think we're all set. We got the stuff. So this is my lips before. You know, they're pretty not great. And here's them after. Oh god. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually pretty awful. How do my lips look? Do they look more luscious? I don't think they look any bigger. Well, guys. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. And I feel like it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> so don't try this one at home. So you're having a bad hair day and you go to your friend and in confidence you show them and they're like, oh, this is disgusting. How could how could you be a person? How could you exist? I have the perfect solution for Get you. Get the extensions and just shove them right inside your beanie. Use duct tape to hold them out. Perfect. That will never come off. This plan is full proof. And no one notices. Just everyone's like, wow, this is so real. They're so realistic. But little do they know, it's not real at all. Oh no, it just fell right off. She's a liar. That's a, she, her hair. Oh, her, she, what? Oh my gosh. Well, it looks like it's time for me to try and find some extensions. And by find some extensions, I really mean steal them from my girlfriend. Just gonna venture into our bathroom really quick. <gasps> These are perfect. I mean, they don't quite match my hair color, but I guess they're good enough. Ugh, oh my gosh, I really need to clean off my desk. Everything's just been such a mess since the intern left, okay? I just messed up so much. Look, intern, if you're watching this, please come back. I just really miss having you around. You're just so much better at cleaning than me. Oh. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is like almost an entire pack of Oreos. Ah, there we go, much better. So just go ahead and grab your weave and start taping it inside your hat, I guess. Ooh, these are some messy extensions. I should have stole a pair from Tori that were already brushed out. Go ahead and break out some gaff tape. Here we go. I truly hope this goes as smoothly as in the tutorial. If not, I'm gonna be real mad. Just kidding. I, 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 I have chill. Oh! Just tape your hair just right in there. Yeah, that should uh, hold that in there. Okay, now let's try this bad boy on. Are you guys ready for the moment of truth? Oh no, the tape, the tape is already falling off. 
I don't know if I like this. I'll see you guys on the other side. Oh, yeah! Oh, no. Oh, like half the hair fell out. Oh, that did not work at all. Oh, this is great! I fully feel like I've unlocked my full potential. But what does Tori think? I'm Tori Dombrowski! Two hours later. Guys, it's been two hours. I'm starting to feel like she's not gonna come. One pair of pants later. Oh, hello! Tori Dombrowski! Tori, look, we match. What happened? Why, why can't you weave? I, I see, like, <laughs> what is this? No, no, stop. What is this? Why? Wait, are you Why? clipping it? No, you can't clip it in my hair. I use duct tape. Ah! 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 No, Tori! I can't be seen without my wig. What do you Why did you clip it in your hair? Because the tutorial called for duct tape. But these have clips for your hair. Look, Crafty Pan has never let me down before. You can have your extensions back. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Now, Tori Dabransky, I must see you out. Get out, get out. You don't like my weave? You don't like me? You can You can get out of here. Get out of here. Sorry. Sorry. Don't tell me how to do my crafts. Well, guys, according to Tori, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. And what a shame. I was really looking forward to taping more hair into my hair. On to the next one, I guess. Make yourself a fancy screw organizer. Get yourself a mason jar, take off the lid, and just screw the lid right to a board. There you go, wow! Just put a bunch of different mason jars in there, put in all your screws, so many screws! And all you gotta do is screw your mason jars right there. Wow! Perfectly organized screws! I love this one, and I think it would make a great addition to the craft corner. Let's try it! So I actually have a lot of screws laying around. Yeah, I kind of have a lot, and they're just kind of everywhere. So I think this could actually be pretty handy. Here are our mason jars. These look like a good size. Now I just gotta fill them all up. Okay, yeah, these look pretty good. And what's funny is I didn't even count how many screws I needed, so wow, I'm pretty impressed with myself. On to the next part. Okay, so a great place for me to put these would be underneath my little side table right here. I can already imagine just having them right here. Or maybe back a little bit. I think maybe back a little bit. Yeah, that would be good. Nice and out of the way. All I gotta do is look under my desk and uh, oh my gosh, I got screws. Oh, okay, so here are our lids. Here's our drill. And it's gotta screw them on. Yeah, I kind of like how that looks so far. Now all we gotta do is take these jars and uh, screw them up here. Oh, that is that is solid. Okay, so it's all done. Now if I ever need screws, I just go underneath here. I just look and see which one I want, and I unscrew it. Awesome. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. It's a pretty handy way of uh, organizing things, too, actually. So here's how to sneak candy in with your tutu. Step one, get a tutu. Next, get some candy. Put some paper clips on the back of it. And just paper clip the candy onto the tutu. It's that easy. Okay, let's try it. So here's our tutu. Open this guy up, break out our chocolates, and just paper clip them on there. Let's see, is it really as easy as they say? I feel like I need to make a small slit in this. Boobity boop. Ah, oh, yes. Clip it on. Whoa, it's actually staying. Okay, now we just have to do uh, all around it. Yeah, this looks, uh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, I guess it's, uh, time to try this bad boy on. I am sort of questioning if this will actually fit. It is a small in children, so, I mean. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Oh, we're losing candy. I don't know if I can get it all the way above my hips. I'll try my darn best. Yeah, this definitely isn't suspicious at all. The only downside to this that I can really think of is if you move too much, they all sort of just fall off. But other than that, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. So here's how you make yourself some giant Christmas lights. What uh, you're gonna need is some balloons, blow those puppies up, then you get some rope, and hot glue it onto some cups. 
Then you carefully super glue the cups onto the balloons. Do it a bunch of times and boom! You got yourself a bunch of giant Christmas lights. This one also looks really cool, but I don't think that it'll last very long because they're balloons. They'll eventually deflate. But for a day or so, that's really awesome. Uh, so let's try it. I still have one more case of balloons and this balloon inflator. This is actually leftover from the time that I filled 10,000 balloons with $10,000. If you guys want to watch that video, you can click right here. If not, uh, just keep watching this video. Don't even worry about that video anyway. So first things first, I'm gonna need to blow up some balloons. Okay, one down, um, a bunch more to go. Oh, okay, the, about this much should do. So now we're gonna go ahead and get some cups and some yarn. Then we're gonna glue this yarn on every foot or so. First one, boop, boop, boop. boop. Next. Okay, these are all done. All sticking together pretty well too. Some of the glue needs to dry still, but you know what? It's fine. Now apparently we're just supposed to go and take the balloon and glue it right onto the cup like this. I feel like this hot glue will literally pop it. Uh, we're about to find out. You ready? Oh, I really hope this doesn't pop it. It'll scare the heck out of me. Okay, you ready? One, two, and... Okay, we're good. Wow, it actually helped. One down. A bunch more to go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, we're all done. Let's put these bad boys on the tree. Okay, right, guys. So here's our concealer. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Anyway, yeah, that's our concealer. Gonna go ahead and get a plate. And I don't actually want to mix it in here because I feel like that would just waste all the concealer inside of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bunch right here and then another little glob of it right here. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my lotion and just put it on one of the piles of makeup. Mix, mix, mix. Honestly, it feels like this one's gotten a little bit lighter, but not too bad. They still look about the same color. What if I add a little bit more lotion? Wow! That's still pretty close. Let's just go ahead and do the arm test really quick. So this is uh, the regular concealer, okay? And then this is with added lotion. What? Dude, it's pretty freaking similar. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I don't know how far you could dilute it before, you know, it stops working, but you know, we're a little short on concealer, just throw a little bit of lotion in there and it, it, it works. It's like when your mom says, hey, you almost had a perfume, just put a little bit of water in there. Anyway, yep, it works. Oh no, she's getting mad. Oh no, she broke the pencil. Oh no, oh no, she broke it and now she's sad. But this car Oh, who, why the heck do you need coffee? Oh, she's mad. She broke the pencil. That pencil never saw it coming. Why is she mad exactly? Oh, this girl is talking to this guy. And now she's mad. But now she's got to get revenge. All you need is some food dye. Just go ahead and put it right in their coffee. Ooh. Yummy. When they're not looking, just switch it over. Oh, but what's this? We have someone who's going to intervene. No, no. She switched them. She did the double switcheroo. The double quadruple sw switcheroo. She knew that's what she switched. Switch, 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 switch. So now when the girl goes to drink her coffee, the other girl's just getting normal coffee. But in real life, she was pranked. Got she it. pranked herself. You gun got did it. You did it to yourself. And now everyone is laughing at you. Congratulations. You played yourself. I've never learned so much about how to be popular in my life. So moral yeah. of the story, pranks, not cool. If that's the case, I'm never going to do another prank in my entire life. But for the sake of the video, I guess we're going to try this prank. This is a pretty old prank, but I don't think I've ever done it to Tori Dabransky. So, uh, <laughs> let's test it out. Just go ahead and grab ourselves some of this. Ooh, yeah, some of that should do. Okay, I swear I'm not crazy. This thing is talking. Do you guys hear this? What? There's a voice coming from this thing. I think it's a cursed object. But in all fairness, I did find this giant speaker on the side of the road. And it would be really rude to kick the ghost out of my house, so <laughs> you get to stay for now. Look, now back at the task at hand. We're just gonna go ahead and get some of this stuff and then put it into this stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Now we mix, mix, mix. Look, how green could it be? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, it got all, it dyed my skin. It, oh my gosh, it's dyeing my skin. It got everywhere, all over my table. Ah, yummy. <laughs> wow, I think that this one is surefire to work. Can I get this out of my teeth? Oh, my teeth are green forever now. Uh, 
<laughs> Let's just hope that Tori doesn't notice. Oh, why do I live in a place with stairs? Oh, Tori Dabransky! Would you like to, would you like some delicious monster? It's, it, I, I just, I started drinking it already. I don't want it anymore. No, just drink, I, I like know. we've never swab spit before. I know, when it comes to you giving me things, it's either a prank or it's a nice gift, and I don't feel like this is a nice gift. Tori, this is a nice gift. I'm just trying to, stop, no, to Tori, 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 it's okay. What is it? It's just monster. Is it? No, it's not, it's not just. No, it's just monster, Tori. <gasps> you were gonna die? <laughs> I'm trying to make you. I'm trying to make your teeth match your I would have been so f***ing sad <laughs> if I drank this. I would have cried. Am I popular yet? No, I would. I'm no. trying to become popular. No, I'm going to make fun of you now. I'm going to oh. bully you, dude. Oh my gosh, maybe the video is right. I'm going to straight up bully you. <gasps> the video was right. This isn't how you become popular. Oh my gosh, I think Crafty Panda might be onto something. Well, guys, I guess in this case, Crafty Panda was 100% right. Scrolling through Amazon. I think they're gonna make it really easy next year with their one day shipping. Wait, are you saying you're not gonna deliver them at all? Well, depends on how today goes, but I'm really liking this relaxation. Hey, do you have a place I can put my bag? I don't wanna leave everyone's presents out. I'll find you a place to put that. Perfect. I'll be right back. Okay guys, the first thing I'm gonna need for this prank is a door. The craft closet door should do fine. So here's a little life hack for you guys. If you ever wanna take a door off really fast, all you have to do is take a screwdriver, put it underneath here, hit it with a hammer, and then this little pin will come out. And once you take all three pins out, the door will come right off. Oh yeah, this door is perfect. Just one minor adjustment. That'll work. Santa, how's it going? Oh, just finishing, just finishing. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, preparing your closet for you. Nothing no, suspicious going on over here. Uh, oh, just oh. keep doing your thing uh, on your phone with the Amazons. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. I almost got this closet ready for you, Santa. No need to worry. It's, a, it's on its way. Santa, your closet is ready. Oh, very good. Come on, uh, over here. Yeah, you really are the craft king. I never saw this door before. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Santa! You've been pranked! Oh, no. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Wasn't that great, Santa? No. Oh, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Is your screw way too big for the hole? Oh, no! Easy peasy, just get some wire and wrap it all around your screw. Make sure to get it right inside the grooves of it. And now you got yourself a perfect little screw plug. Hammer that bad boy right in there. Do I'm not really sure what uh, this one is good for. Like, I'm not sure what situation I would do this in, but I guess we're gonna try it for the sake of the craft. So here's our wood. It's time for me to drill the hole. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. This should work nicely, even though I only have one drill bit this size. And we just, uh, oh no, I, I messed up. So here's our copper wire. Now we have to try and uh, put it around this screw. I feel like this is gonna be more difficult than they let on. I might have gotten too thick of uh, <laughs> of copper wire. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is definitely way too thick of copper wire. So instead, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a paper clip. It should do the same thing, right? Here we go. Yeah, uh, not bad. Let's see if this one paper clip will do it. Oh, I feel like I wanna add some more up here though. So just for good measure, I'm gonna add one more paper clip. Here we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Let's test it out. Okay, let's do this. One, two, and. Yep, that's uh, that's definitely in there. I don't think I can get that out either. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. So for this one, all you gotta do is make a hat out of cotton candy. And the movie theater guard will never suspect a thing. Yeah, it seems legit. Just let her through. But little does he know, it's actually made out of candy. As well as your Twizzler necklaces. So unfortunately for this one, they don't actually tell you how to make the hat out of cotton candy. So I'm just gonna try my darn best to replicate this. <laughs> let's do it. Okay guys, so let's break out our cotton candy. Yeah, I think about four bags should do it. Probably even less, honestly. So now I have to figure out how the heck I'm gonna make this into a hat. I 
guess I could break out my sewing kit and try to sew the cotton candy together. I'm like 30% sure that this is actually gonna work. Oh my gosh, this is scary. I, I almost lost the needle inside the cotton candy. Imagine finding a needle in your cotton candy. Oh, that would be awful. Oh my gosh. So far, so good. Oh, never mind. See if we can put it all back together. Yeah, so that's uh, that's one bag. I don't even think we'll need all four bags. My gosh, my hands are getting so covered in sugar. Second bag down. Time for the third bag. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not upset with this so far. Oh my gosh. Carefully tie it without breaking everything. Okay, here is the most delicate hat I have ever touched. It's literally falling apart. Now let's try it. Oh man, oh my gosh. Oh, it fell apart already. Oh my good. Oh. Supposed to work. Maybe if I push it all together? Crafty Panda, how did you do this? I'm literally impressed. Try to pick it up? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the heck? Guys, I don't think that you can actually make a hat out of this. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. How do you? No, it's not possible. I'm sorry, but no. But you guys are probably thinking, Robbie, you can't give up that easy. Well, that's why we're gonna try and hot glue it to this piece of paper right here. Maybe this will work? I feel like it's gonna melt some of the cotton candy. Oh, so far so good. Let's get it all over there. There we go. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Oh my goodness. I'm hot gluing cotton candy to a paper hat. I'm an adult. That's, that's the takeaway from this. Robbie is an adult. Yeah, I think this is about as good as we're gonna get. Uh, let's try it on. Now look at this masterpiece. Time to put this on my head. Oh my gosh. Oh, this feels so delicate. Some of the cotton candy keeps falling off, so I have to keep applying it to my head. No, my glasses! <laughs> well, guys, oh my gosh. I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I already have cotton candy hair. Do I really need a cotton candy hat? I don't think so. So here's how you make yourself a candy cane wreath. Get yourself some candy canes and some hot glue. Hot glue a couple of the candy canes together so that they're like kissing. And then you just do it a bunch more times. Get your peppermints. Hot glue those bad boys on. Add a ribbon. And then you're all ready to hang that bad boy up. Wow, it's beautiful. I think that this will be a perfect addition to our craft mystery. Okay guys, so here are our candy canes. But before we do this, I'm actually gonna put down some parchment paper. The parchment paper is gonna help a lot because now it's not gonna stick to my desk. So it looks like the first step to this is we have to glue them together like this. Okay, boobity boo. Now I just have to do that with like all of these. They're kind of like weird hearts, like extremely long hearts. Now we let those cool down for a second. Okay, glue's all cooled down, and I'm actually gonna clean it up a little bit with scissors. You know, just kinda cut them off there, just some of the excess stuff. Boom, bam, looking good. Drop here. Line them up. I only did enough to make half of it. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue all these together and then we'll go ahead and make the other half. Wow, look how fans. It said to use little peppermint candies with it, but I don't have any, so we're just gonna use some Skittles. Taste the rainbow. Uh, honestly, I think this is way cooler anyway. Last but not least, we add the bow. Hope I don't break this. Oh my gosh. It's arrived. Very careful. This thing feels like it's gonna break any second. There we go. Wow. This does not feel like a very sturdy reef. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one kind of works. Now let's go hang it on our craft mystery. Okay, so I actually ended up adding a bunch of supports because I really don't trust this thing. Ow! I just burned myself. Okay, now we'll try it on the craft mystery. After it cools down. Oh, that is so much more solid. Perfect. Okay, guys, so here's our mascara. Yeah, one of these ought to do. How's this one? Oh, no, looks uh, pretty not dry to me. Nope, nope. Honestly, all these are pretty new still. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and break out my heat gun. Bibbidi boop. And we're gonna go ahead and dry this out. Oh, oh no, it made it even better. It's starting to like bubble the mascara off of it. And now it's smoking. <laughs> Did it work? Oh, that's really dry. So now we're gonna go ahead and break out our kettle. Oh, I didn't think it was.
it was smoking that much. Oh my god, I have to go turn off my fire alarm. It does kind of smell like plastic's burning. Boil some water. Okay, that sounds like it's almost boiling. Uh, that's, this might actually be a little too hot, if you know what I'm saying. Go ahead and pour that into our cup. Oh yeah, that's nice and warm. We just uh, dip that in there. And now we wait for one minute, apparently. I'll see you then. Okay, it's been about a minute. The results are in. Ooh, that still feels, uh, <laughs> that feels pretty dry. Although I think it's because, you know, I used a heat gun on it. Anyway, let's, uh... Oh? Eh. Guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. I would give it a straight 3 out of 10. Although I don't really know a lot about mascara, so uh, do with that as you will. Okay, so since the last one didn't really mull over very well with Tori Dabransky, maybe this next one will. They're like, yeah, she dresses like a dweeb. You know what would be a great idea? If I put lipstick all over the back of her shirt. I love it when my friends do that. And then all the other friends laugh. What was the joke? This is the only surefire way to be popular at school. Or so you think. This girl's gonna go and turn it all around. Just take that darn dirty jacket and add even more lipstick to it. But make it permanent. Just put some dye and then you just go ham. You just start making out with the back of your shirt. Ooh. Heather number one doesn't like it because Heather number two and three absolutely adore this fashion. If you're trying to be popular, this is the way. Take that, Heather number one. So first things first, I'm gonna need to change this shirt. Oh yes, this one should do. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to change my shirt yet. Uh, okay, we got our shirt, we got our saran wrap. Oh gosh, oh my goodness. And then I don't have any of that fabric dye stuff, so I'm just gonna use real lipstick. This literally feels so dangerous. I guess I just won't put it over my nose. Okay, it won't stay. Okay, you guys ready to see how it turned out? Oh. Look at this masterpiece. It definitely looks like someone made out with my shirt. But will this make me popular? Let's find out. Oh, hey, Tora Dabransky. Oh, hi. How you doing? I can barely see you. It's so dark in here. Welcome to my darkness. Do you uh, notice anything different about me? Do you put stuff on your back? Oh, my God, guys. She's noticed. Yes, I did. What is it? It's the newest fashion trend. Is it blood? <laughs> no, Tori. It's lipstick. See, it looks like someone made out with my back. Okay. Yeah, it looks good, right? See, it's uh, it's all the rage. I mean, if you say so, I guess. Do you think I'm popular now? Sure, why not? I believe you can be popular. Well, guys, if a cool girl like Tori Dabransky says I look like I could be popular, I guess I'd be popular for sure. So I guess we're gonna have to say that Crafty Panda was 100% correct again. saw that one coming. I bet he's gonna leave my house after that one for sure. But just in case he decides to stay, I'm gonna pretend that the police are here to arrest him. Santa, come out with your hands up. If you're not gonna go back to work, we're gonna arrest you. It makes perfect sense if you really think about it. Did I say really think about it? I meant don't think about it too hard. Don't think about it at all. Thank you. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on siren mode. Santa did that. Santa, Santa, guess what? Oh, it was a prank the entire time. Oh. This is pretty awful, right, Santa? I feel like I can't leave now. No, that's not good. Oh my god, that completely backfired. I gotta think of a better plan. So here's an easy way to take the quirk off of a bottle. So you take a screw, you screw it right into that quirk, get a quirk, and pull up your fork. Pop! There you go! Easy way to open that fresh bottle of wine. I don't drink personally, but I guess, uh, I guess we'll try this one. Alright guys, so here's our wine bottle. Here's our screw. Just go ahead and just screw it right in there. Then we go ahead and get our fork. Here we go. Let's see. Will this work? Oh, that already that already bent the fork. <gasps> oh, come on. I'm definitely fighting this a little bit. Ugh. Come on. Dang, that just doesn't want to come out. Yeah, so it just says push it up like that. I'm gonna try putting it in a little bit more. Okay, here we go. And, oh, the screw came out. Dang, and that completely messed up our fork. 
Wow. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. I'm gonna try maybe putting the screw in one more time and then pulling it out with some pliers. Dude, yeah, that... <laughs> That definitely doesn't work. Oh wait, is it because I didn't take this off? <gasps> oh shoot. I think this might have been uh, my fault, actually. I don't know how much this little aluminum foil was really holding it back, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. Okay, I hope this doesn't pop out and hit me in the eye or something. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the pliers. Oh! I pulled out the screw again. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so the cotton candy hat just didn't work out. Maybe hiding your candy inside of a cowboy hat will. I think I'm kind of over hats, but you know what? Maybe we should try this one with Toby. Oh, Toby! I got you a hat to try and sneak candy into the movies. Oh, oh, wow! Thanks, Robin! Yeah, this looks so. Uh, this looks great! Now we're gonna get our candy and just dump it right in there! Oh, wow! Yeah! That definitely works! Oh, I never suspect a thing! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay guys, so here's my shaver. Oh no! I got my hair everywhere! Oh, this is actually kind of gross. And... Oh no! My hair, it's everywhere! Break out our trusty lint roller. Boopity boop! Oh wow! That cleaned up a lot of it actually. I mean, it's cleaning up a lot of it, but uh, there's still a lot of random little hairs all over. I can use another sheet, I guess. Oh! No! No! I keep messing up the sheets! I feel so bad. This is Tori's lint roller. Okay. I'll try this again. I mean, it's cleaned up most of it. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. Let's list my goals. Eat healthy, exercise more, and become popular! Duh! And what better way to do that than draw a, a donut? On your backpack, I guess? All the cool kids, they love donuts. Look at her, oh, she loves it. Oh, wow. Donuts in fashion right now. Don't believe me? Just Google it, I dare you. So I'd rather not ruin any more of my shirts today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw on a lens cap. Shirt, lens cap, it's the same thing, right? I can't wait for everyone to be like, oh my gosh, I love your lens cap. So I guess we start off with brown. This is gonna be the donut part. You can't have a donut without the dough. I guess you could technically skip the nuts though. Ooh. Now we're gonna go ahead and draw the outline of our frosting. Then we're gonna go ahead and fill this guy in. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, now for the sprinkles. <laughs> And there we go, we have our donuts. It's not the prettiest donut, but who do you think I am, ZHC? Come on. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty fun. I like this donut. I'm so glad I did this. I feel 10 times cooler. Okay, I know that last one was a little bit boring. I'm really sorry, uh, but this last one <laughs> is gonna make up for it. Here's our tube, and the first thing we gotta do is cut this bad boy down. Oh, this tube is very thick. I should have probably used like a paper towel tube, but okay, this is gonna take forever. Uh, honestly, this is taking way too long, so uh, I'm breaking out my sawzall. Woo! Efficient. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this a little bit. Honestly, I've just been kind of looking for an excuse to use a sander. There we go, all the edges are nice and even now. Okay, now it's time to paint these guys. I was originally gonna use spray paint, but I'm still out of red spray paint. So it looks like I'm using this acrylic paint instead. Three perfectly painted dynamite sticks. And I just have to wait a little bit for these to dry. A little bit later. Ho, ho, ho. And now that these bad boys are dry, we're gonna tape them all together. This is standard black electrical tape. There we go. 
a little bit more difficult than I thought. I bet my girlfriend's gonna steal this as a Minecraft prop now. So now we're gonna grab our sparklers. I only need three of them. And our clay. There we go. We'll shove this bad boy right in there. Just like this. And the last one. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is actually cover this in this white tape because I really want it to look like an actual fuse. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Okay, let's see if this will keep Santa away. Okay, guys, it's time to test this bad boy out on Santa. Boobity boof. I'm not lighting. I think we might have a problem. Oh, never mind. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, Santa, Santa. What is it? Uh, I thought I was lighting a candle, but I actually lit a freaking bomb. What are we gonna do? Uh, we gotta go for cover. Uh, go inside of my gingerbread house. I'm not gonna fit in there. You have to. No, seriously. Uh, uh, give me that. I'll take it to the south oh, pole. Okay. okay, it's there. Go, go, go. He actually got Santa to leave. So now I never have to worry about Santa coming back ever again. Uh, oh my god, guys, Santa found out that it was a prank. Now he's trying to come back in here. Oh man, now I have to come up with another prank. Oh jeez. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up to make this fight right down there. If you guys want to enter to win a brand new customized iPhone by me, all you gotta do is comment how many candies you think are on this necklace. Like and share the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video and especially the next time because I'm gonna be announcing the winners in an upcoming video pretty soon. If you guys want to see even more funny hacks on how to sneak candy into the movies and other places, I actually have a whole playlist that you can watch right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to watch clips from these videos before they come out, I actually have a channel called Robbie Clips. You can and subscribe right here. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can always collect the mystery card. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Gordetti. Okay, bye. Ah!